Hey, how's it going everyone? This is, I guess, my second vlog. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try to pump out one of these like every, once a week at least. I think my last one was also about a week ago. But yeah, that was mainly on RPGs. Um, this one might actually be a follow-up to that one. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of want to like maybe cover other other subjects as well. It's not all about gaming. It could be about anime. It could be about uh, films. I love movies. It could be about, I guess, sports. I kind of like sports. Though there's not a lot of sports going on right now. Everything's kind of like uh, in quarantine. So there's no, no MLB, PGA, uh, NBA, none of that. NFL. Uh, whatever, though. That's not really... It's fun to watch, it's a good distraction, but it's not something like I, I lose sleep over. But uh, yeah, basically I just wanted to show you guys one pickup I did uh, recently. Um, this one, this may not be as interesting to you if, if you're not into uh, rally racing games, racing games I guess. But um, it's not often you find a copy of Colin McRae Rally 2.0. Um, this game came out sometime around, uh, I think in the mid 2000s. And... Um, of course, the PS2, I think, was out by then already. And, you know, the PS1 was kind of getting phased out. But, um, but yeah, this this is not an easy game to find. I, I'm lucky I found a copy. Uh, I think I paid 35 bucks for this. But for what it's worth, it comes with everything included. You know, front, back, manual, disc. Everything's in really good condition. So I was really excited when I found this. And I, I can't wait to play it because the, the rally games I like playing. Because I play, I play them on the PS1. I don't have a lot of the new ones. Um, I play V Rally. I play V Rally One and Two. Uh, Need for Speed V Rally is what they were called on the PS One. Those are really fun. But um, I've always wanted Colin McRae's Rally 2.0. Um, now I just need a copy of uh, One. I don't have that one. But yeah, no, it's it's really it's incredible, really, that I managed to find a copy of this. Let's see if I can see the disc. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm I'm really excited to uh, finally own a copy of this, and uh, I can't wait to try it out. And basically, um, my follow-up to my RPG blog last time, um, I know I said I was going to finish the Dragon Quest trilogy, and I did. Um, it, it, whew, Dragon Quest uh, 3 took me a, a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, it's a great game. Uh, easily the best of the three. But you thought 2 was hard, 3 was was no was no walk in the park. It, it was hard. Um, it was hard finding all the orbs. It was difficult to um, to fight, was it Baramos, and then Zoma, and then his lackeys before him. And don't even get me started on that ridiculous bonus dungeon. I'm, I only got as far as to the uh, to the pyramid uh, maze, and then I, I got bodied, and I just, I gave up. I didn't care. I, I really don't care to do the bonus dungeon. Um, to me, I feel like the game is uh, completed when you get the credits, the end credits start scrolling. And I did. Of course, I beat the game. I earned the title of Air Jerk finally. But uh, yeah, there's no way in hell I'm doing a stupid bonus dungeon. Sure, it has like some nice little Easter eggs, you know, the King of Zenithia is in there somehow. And uh, you know, you could talk to uh, Shenron, which allows you to grant you one wish to bring back um, Ortega. And really, I saw footage of it, and it looks nice to have him back. But all in all, it doesn't really affect the game. I think. Plus, this is Erdrick's story, not Ortega's, so honestly, I, I just don't see the reason to do the bonus dungeon. So, for what it's worth, the Dragon Quest Trilogy 1, 2, and 3, done. One and done. I'm not playing them again. Great games, but um, that's just, it's honestly a one-time deal for me. If they remake them and, and then, like, if they, pardon, if they remake it, like, like Dragon Quest Eleven style or something like that, um, probably I'll, I'll go back to... Uh, was it Alphine? And and do it all over again, but um, until then, there's no way in the hell I'm playing those three games again. Yeah, again, great games, but they they were, a, no, at least the first two were a chore to play. Uh, three, honestly, I think it's still great. It still plays uh, really good. But uh, but yeah, no, Dragon Quest 1 and 3, done. 1 through 3. And I know I said I was going to play the Collection of Mana. Uh, I really was going to play Trials of Mana, and I did. And honestly, I, I'm i just not feeling it. Um, honestly, I don't even really like Secret of Man on the Super Nintendo. Because that game had really lousy hit detection. And 
I love Ted Woolsey, but that tra that translation of his just wasn't that good. Um, I, the translation for Charles of Mana on the collection is really good. Um, they did a good job. And uh, and the gameplay is fine. It, it, it works, and the hit detection is a lot better this time, but I just... I don't know. I, I, I downloaded the demo for the remake, and it, it's just so much better. Um, I wanted to play both just to compare, but I honestly, I just can't find it in myself to play Trials of Mana. I'm sure it's great, and um, I, I would have I definitely played through it already if there was no remake that was announced. But now that I, the remake looks so much better, and I played it, I, I downloaded it on the PS4, and it's really, really good. Yeah, um, everything about it's good. Combat, voice acting, cutscenes, just... It's 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 a really great remake, and I just can't go back and play the old one. So I'm I'm gonna have to take an L on this one. Um, I I'm not gonna finish Trials of Man on the Super NES, the uh, collection. And and for uh, let's see, what else did I plan? Oh yeah, Persona Five Royal came out already, but honestly, I I haven't picked it up yet. Um, I want to, but again, I I played the original, so. I would like to try out the new content, but again, um, you know, when I'll get around to it. Also, um, the thing is that I wanted to buy a copy of Lunar 1, uh, Silver Star Story. Um, I have a copy of Lunar 2, and I did play up until, like, Disc 2, and then I just stopped. It's a great game, it's really good. But that's when I found out that it's, a, it's like a direct sequel to Lunar 1, and, um, it, it makes sense because there's some, like, I guess recurring characters from the first game that I, I don't know who they are or what they've done. So, honestly, I might have to just restart Lunar 2, and that's after I play Lunar 1. But first, I gotta find a copy of Lunar 1. And, um, and yeah, um, I'm still trying to find a copy. I want to find a, a boxed copy, just like in this, like, nice, um, box that uh, Working Designs published. Um, it's really, really cool art box. Looks really awesome on the shelf. People are more surprised to see that I have a copy of this. They don't. They could care less about if I had a copy of Crash or, or Spyro or, um, or Final Fantasy VII. It's always Lunar 2 is the one that really like like pulls your attention. And, it, it, and with good reason. It's really nice artwork and it's a great game. But uh, yeah, now, now I kind of need to uh, replay, replay it again and then I gotta play Lunar 1 first. But uh, yeah, um, I had it for a while. I just haven't got around to finishing it. Also, I recently started uh, re-watching this, Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, of course, everybody already knows how amazing this is. I mean, if you haven't watched it, um, honestly, I highly recommend it. This is a really great show. You, you probably think, um, because it's produced by Nickelodeon, it's a kid's show, and technically it is. But, um, honestly, it's a pretty damn good kid's show. <laughs> uh, really, really cool story, you know, a conflict between... Uh, races um nations it's just this, this war that's going on people are um fire nations basically trying to cause an, an eradication against the other three uh kingdoms really really cool um avatar the last airbenders awesome show but uh yeah no um i guess this is my second vlog i think i said that already but uh yeah basically with I guess I'm, what I'm going to try to do soon is um, I wanted to play Re uh, Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii and I, and I popped the disc in and honestly the game's a total eyesore. And I'm not a graphics person but honestly I'm just going to wait it out for the um, definitive edition. I just, I can't, I cannot play the Wii one. It looks muddy and everything just blends in and I, it's just, it hasn't aged well at all. And I don't know, maybe I'll play the Final Fantasy VII Remake when that comes out too. Um, I don't know if I will though. Never was a fan of even, even the original one. But I don't know. This one looks pretty cool. It looks more exciting. But uh, yeah, I guess that does it for my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you know any good PS1 RPGs, please um, put them in the comments section. Um, the only consoles I own are PS1, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and uh, GameCube. And that's, those are really the only consoles I have. And I guess the Wii, but I only own Xenoblade on it. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any good uh, RPG recommendations for those four consoles, um, please just uh, put them in the comment section. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.